Hey guys, it's Nevada. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a, another what I eat in a day video. I actually got a really good response on the last one, so I thought I'd make another one. And this of course has some Indian food in it because I wanted to stay kind of true to what I actually eat during the day. So for breakfast, I'm going to be starting off with a tofu scramble breakfast burrito type of thing. So I'm starting off by cutting up my tofu and you don't have to be really precise with this. It's just to make it easier to crumble into the pan. And I'm going to be using extra firm tofu, I think, or firm tofu will work too. And that's just the easiest one to actually crumble and really work with. I'm seasoning this with a little bit of garlic salt and then some black pepper and just letting it cook. Tofu really takes a lot longer to cook than you would think so while that's just sitting there I'm going to move on to making my salsa. So I'm just cutting up two tomatoes and throwing that into a bowl and adding it with some sweetened or no unsweetened canned corn and I just wash the corn of all its disgusting juices. And then I'm also going to be making a avocado guacamole on the side by just adding a little bit of lime juice to it. Once the tofu is cooked, I'm going to saute some onions in that same pot and just let it kind of sweat out a little bit. And then once it's a little bit more browned, I'm going to add some canned black beans. Again, it just drained it of all of its juices. And I'm going to be seasoning this with cumin, so you can do whatever seasoning, whatever flavor you want, but I'm just adding a heaping spoonful of cumin and then just mixing that all together. And then I'm going to assemble the burrito, and super disclaimer here, I really, really suck at this. So basically I overfilled my burrito, so it was really hard to kind of actually fold it but um, I managed to do it somehow, it was really hard. But I really like to kind of fill my burrito like that because otherwise the tortilla taste for me is just way too overwhelming and I don't like that. So this is me trying to squeeze this into a burrito, but it ended up working out, so that was breakfast. Since the beans and the tofu were really filling for breakfast, I decided to do something simple for lunch. So I just made some oven-baked potato fries and then a side salad. So for this, all I'm doing is cutting up some Idaho potatoes and one of them I'm making kind of thick like wedges and then the other one I'm slicing a little bit more thinly. So right here I'm using a baking sheet from Amazon and if you guys don't know about this, it is absolutely amazing. It's a non-stick baking sheet and you basically don't have to use oil or um, aluminum foil or an actual baking sheet when you're baking something so if you're making cookies or potatoes like this definitely recommend it. Um, I'm also going to be seasoning my fries with some chili flakes, Italian seasoning and onion powder and then this is going to be going in the oven for about 45 minutes at 450 degrees. I feel like this varies on whatever oven you're using so just keep an eye on it. I like mine to be really brown and crispy on the top and then it's really soft on the inside. So with this, I'm also going to be having a salad that I actually made the night before. Super simple, it's just chickpeas, carrots, cherry tomatoes, broccoli, baby spinach, and celery. And some green olives also I think is in there. So that was lunch, really easy to make and very, very filling. My fries I like to dip in sriracha and ketchup and I actually mix them two together. So if you haven't tried that, you should try it out. It's really, really good. And then I have the side salad on the side. But since both breakfast and lunch were really calorie dense, I wasn't really feeling another like substantial snack. So I just had some sliced grapefruit and also some cantaloupe. And then for dinner, I made some chana masala or chole, whatever you want to call it. It's basically an Indian style chickpeas gravy. So I'm starting off with some finely chopped onions and a diced tomato. Then in a pot, I'm going to heat up some oil and basically season the oil with fennel seeds and also cumin seeds. This is totally optional. I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but this is how my mom taught me. So after the oil heats up, you're going to add the onions to it and let that sweat for a little bit. And when that's ready, you're going to add the tomatoes to it as well. So at this point, I just wanted you to see that both the onions and the tomatoes are really solid looking and what you want to do is as it cooks, basically push the spoon or whatever you're using down against the tomatoes to make it more mushy and make itself a paste almost. So 
I did that for quite a bit, almost like seven to eight minutes. And finally it gets to some sort of like a gravy consistency. So at this point I'm going to add tomato paste, only a spoon of tomato paste, and then also add a spoon, maybe half a spoon of ginger garlic paste. You can get this at an Indian store or an Asian food store. For seasoning, I'm going to be using chili powder, so maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder. Again, you can increase or lower this if you can handle or not handle spiciness. And then I'm also adding a huge spoonful of coriander powder, and then also about a teaspoon of curry powder. The curry powder is kind of optional. I guess it's mostly if you want that like really masala flavor to this dish or not, but those are the three things I'm adding. I'm going to add salt in the end, actually after it's cooked. So to make it more of a gravy consistency, I'm adding water. Again, you can add as much water as you want for your desired level of consistency, but I added a cup. And so now it is more liquidy and it's gonna start to come to a boil. Once it boils, I'm gonna add the chickpeas. These are drained canned chickpeas. You can use fresh, you know, dry roasted chickpeas after you soak them overnight, but this was just easier for me. So wash the chickpeas of its gross salty water and then added that to the dish. So at this point, you just let the dish simmer for about 10 minutes and then add salt at the end and you're basically done. You can eat this with roti or rice. I actually like it with quinoa, so I'm adding a few spoonfuls on top of a bed of quinoa. And then I don't really like cilantro or parsley fresh on my food, so I'm going to add some spring onions just because I really like the flavor of that. But that's basically dinner. I know it doesn't seem like or look like a lot, but the combination of quinoa and chickpeas together is really, really filling. So it's more than enough for a full meal. That's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.